So an avalanche transceiver is a, a very, you know, it's the, probably the single most vital piece of kit if you're going to ski in the backcountry or any kind of off-piste ski. And what it does is it emits a signal and it's also capable of being switched to receive a signal from a different device. And no matter what the device is, no matter what brand they are, they all work on exactly the same frequency. Some have different features to others, but essentially they all work very efficiently. So everyone in the party has one of these. If somebody is unfortunate enough to get buried, then um, the rest of the party turn their transceivers onto, um, onto search, and then um, there are organized patterns and recognized ways that you will use to follow and find a, uh, a, a buried victim. And somebody who's well practiced at, with using one of, uh, one of these devices and finding a, bur a victim that's not buried too deeply, say about a meter down, they should be able to recover them within about five minutes, fairly comfortably. Um, but you, the problem is that when you are buried in an avalanche is that your chances of survival diminish very quickly. And normally after about 30 minutes, the chances of survival are very, very slow indeed. So everyone absolutely essential, above all else. And the other thing that you can't really do without either, because you can't, if somebody is buried, you can't dig them out with your bare hands. You have to have um, a probe and a shovel. So that's two other essential bits of kit. Now uh, the probe is the kind of the second stage of, um, of search, if you like. Thank you. Shall I get the probe out? I'll show you what this does. So the probe um, is used to locate a buried victim. Once you get down into a certain area, and it's normally a, you know a square meter or two square meters on the surface, you're not looking for a tiny little device like this. You're looking for quite a large person. And so it's better to begin probing. So you get down to within a small area on the surface and then you begin to probe. So the probe is essential and uh, these things go together just like if anyone's been used to modern tent poles, that's pretty much how these things go together, uh, like that. And then you probe in the snow by pushing down until you um, gently into the pool, um, you find the buried victim. And then, <laughs> once you've located the buried victim, you then need a shovel to uh, to dig them out. And um, a shovel with a fairly long extendable handle is really a very good idea because you get more leverage. And also, um, metal shovels are absolutely essential for digging in quite hard snow and stuff as well. It's much more efficient to. But again, to a very lightweight. Really light, really light yeah. yeah. So dead easy to carry, you know. And uh, lots of uh, modern backcountry rucksacks actually have compartments for you to put these little um, bits of safety equipment in. And as you can see, it, all, it collapses. Right. Very strong, very effective. Really.